Yo, what's up, guys? I got a quick question. And I've always thought this. How come in boxing, MMA, and kickboxing, and Muay Thai, all the combat sports, they're, the fighters are not being able to know who's winning what round, and you're not being able to know, okay, this is the score, this is what the judges are scoring in the fight right now. Like football, baseball, soccer, hockey, every other sport, you're being able as as the athlete to look up at the scoreboard during the game and say, okay, this team has beaten us 22 to 10. And that would motivate the other team that has 10 points to really step up their game and come in there and try to F stuff up. I think even, I said this previously before, Rob Deirdre, professional skateboarder, with his street league uh, competition, he basically made in real time, you as a skateboarder can look up and say, okay, Tony Hawk has 100 points, and I need to beat his 100 points, or Tony Hawk has 70 points right now, I need to do something to score better to win. And I think that would make for an exciting fight, because if you look at it this way, Let's say somebody like GSP is winning two rounds or three rounds, and the other guy he's fighting looks up at the scoreboard and goes, Oh, GSP is winning the first three rounds, or the first four rounds. He would have to know to go for broke. He would know, okay, I'm going to have to go out there swinging for the fences and try to knock him out or get a submission because there's no way I am winning this fight, even if it goes to the judge's decision, even if I won the fifth round. I honestly think... That's a way to make these boring fights that you see. Because a lot of times, some fighters think they're doing enough to win the fight. And they're just, win and they're just um, basically sitting there, holding the guy down. Or basically, oh, I already won half the fight, so I'm not going to really go for broke. It would make the guy who basically knows I'm losing go for broke. It would make him go out there and be very vicious and very hungry. It would be kind of like when you watch the Chuck Liddell fight versus Tito Ortiz, the very first fight, and Tito Ortiz gets put up in the against the cage in the second round, and Tito Ortiz and Tito Ortiz gets so much combos rained on him, and he fell and got knocked out, and Chuck Liddell won that fight. Chuck Liddell came out in the second round, was very vicious, very violent, and very hungry. So let me know in the comment section below would that make for more exciting MMA fights, and even have the stand-up rule, because a lot of times in MMA, the, some of the times the guy just holds you to the ground, and the guy in the bottom doesn't know jiu-jitsu or really any wrestling, he can't get himself up. I think that makes for a boring fight. Sometimes, like I said, the Jake Shields versus Damian Maya fight, that was a great fight, because it was jiu-jitsu, and that's great when they're two high-level grapplers, like two high-level wrestlers, so I think a lot of the GSP, Johnny Hendricks fight is going to be like that. A lot of grappling. But, with that being said, I just wanted to give my opinion and say, guys, let me know in the comment section below. Will that make four exciting fights? Putting the actual score on the uh, on like a scoreboard where the fighters during the round, they can look up and say, oh, Johnny Hendricks has beat me two rounds to none. I have to come out and do something or I'm losing my uh, title. So with that being said, this is the MMA Breakdown Podcast. We're fading out. And I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. I can't wait for UFC 166. My prediction, Junior DeSantos is losing that fight. I just think Cain Velasquez is the next Fedor Melanenko. The best pound-per-pound -pound MMA heavyweight right now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.